Queen and Shoku, and I'm here to talk to you about the reasons why you need to avoid junk food. Do you love the salty, savory taste of french fries or the buggy taste of popcorn? If you do, chances are you're probably a junk food lover. But if you knew the risk that it imposed on your life, then you would probably not love it as much. My main goal today is to persuade you that avoiding junk food and opting for healthier options will have a positive impact on you and the environment. The excess increase of junk food today is skyrocketing through the roof and harming us all. Opting for a healthier food choice is better and less harmful. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the harmful effects of junk food on your health, the economy benefits of avoiding junk food, and how eating less junk food can help reduce energy consumption and food production. Studies show that eating junk food can, could lead to heart-related problems and reduce your lifespan. According to a study performed by ScienceBlogs.com, 56% of meals purchased at fast, fast food outlets contain more sodium than your daily intake, than you're supposed to consume daily. And this is a diagram obtained from Motive Weight Loss to show you the negative effects of obesity on your health and your life. And there you can see there's cancer, joint problems, lower life expectancy, hernia, heart attacks, breathing problems, type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, arthritis, and much more. Also, due to a recent study, it shows that soft drinks and carbonated drinks are categorized as junk food. And there's evidence that regular consumption of these drinks could lead to osteoporosis, obesity, type 2 diabetes, kidney stones, and much more harmful diseases. Among Americans aged 20 and older, 154.7 million of them are either obese or overweight. And also, 23.9 million children ages 2 to 19 year old are also overweight and obese, or obese. If a young child at the age of two is obese and at the risk of high blood pressure, then why do we really need to have junk food in the market? Not only does junk food pose a threat to your child and your family, it also poses a threat to the environment. And these are the statistics of 2013 that shows the obesity and overweight of people in America. And these stats were obtained through health.org. According to sciencedaily.com, studies conducted says a healthier diet and a return to more traditional means of obtaining food, example farming, can help reduce energy consumption used towards food production by almost 50%. The most dramatic reduction in energy used for food processing will come about if consumers reduce their demand for highly processed food. By just reducing junk food intake and converting diets to lower meat, lower meat the average American could have a massive impact on fall consumption as well as improving his, his or her health. Finally, changes to the methods of food processing, packaging, and distribution could also help reduce fall consumption. I have told you what avoiding junk food can do to benefit your health and the environment. Now I will tell you what it can do for you financially. Nutritional arguments for the elimination of junk food may not be effective enough to win people over away from a poor diet. Almost everyone, however, understands the benefits of saving money. Eliminating junk food not only results in better health, but it means real savings in the amount of money spent every day. Junk foods are very expensive in terms of the actual nutrition, because if you think about it this way, you're paying 10% for the actual food 
and the remaining 90% goes to the advertisement and the packaging used to sell the food. In reality, you're not getting real nutrients from the junk food you're eating. All you're eating is MSG and fats and empty calories, pretty much. And here is just a little bit of data from 1982 that shows you the cost of junk food for a week is $16, but now it's 2013 and that has highly changed. If you were to get all this in a week, you'd probably be spending up to, I would say around $70 to $100. Also, you need to keep in mind that whenever you're purchasing junk food, right there and then, not only are you purchasing food, you're also in, you should also keep in mind that you have to invest to save up money for the health risk it might impose on you. And if you think about it this way, the junk food in a year can cost up to $832. But then when you start adding in the drugs and medications, the dental bills that you get from all the cavities that it will give you, um, an estimate will be about $3,000 a year. Regardless, it is very painful and obvious that people who consume junk foods not only steal money from themselves and their families, but also lay the foundation for expensive and painful suffering in the years to come. Can any type of food sensual pleasure be worth these costs? I mean, a chocolate chip cookie, is it really worth $3,000 plus a year? Is it? No. I want to encourage you to leave here with the mindset of what a healthy diet can do for you and your loved ones. And maybe the next time you go grocery shopping, you would think twice before you pick up that bag of cheesy chips or that creamy tub of ice cream. Does anybody have any questions for me? Yes, sir. So what can we do to limit the amount of junk food that we eat? Or what can be done to eliminate this food? Okay, well, first of all, you can always start by planning your food, your meals. So let's say you're going to work tomorrow. You can always prepare your lunch the day before. That way you can avoid stopping at a drive-thru or you know, having to opt for that option. Also, there are other options for um, living a healthier lifestyle. You can switch from drinking soda and you know, processed juice to juicing at home or drinking more water because water is good for you and it's good for the environment. So in terms of food, like, can you give us an example of an healthy food? Or? In terms of food, you can always um, increase your protein, uh, um, avoid eating canned foods and go for, you know, fresh foods. Like in the fresh food aisle, you can also eat more vegetables or and offer organic options instead of, you know, Uh, with those people that are obese, what do they need to do uh, to get back in shape? Usually it takes like, it's a whole lifestyle process. The first thing that you need to know is that once you start, there's no going back. I recently just started my own lifestyle change and I would say the first thing you need to do is cut out all the bad foods. Try to go in your fridge and throw out all those things. Especially if you have kids, because your kids eat what you eat. No matter how you will try to think otherwise, if they're hungry and they go look in the fridge, the first thing that they see is what they're gonna eat sometimes. So you have to leave by example, throw out all the junk foods and opt for healthier options. And uh, do you think it's just the food that makes uh, people obey, or is it just the fact that they are depressed or they, they're having problems in their life? Obesity leads to depression, so if you're obese, chances are you're going to be slightly more depressed because you wouldn't feel happy. It, to it torments you. You don't look like others look. You don't feel like others feel. So you would, in other words, not feel wanted or accepted by society. Also, there are other things you can do besides changing your food. I'm saying the food is the first, first step because that's one of the easiest things to do. But then you also have to, you know, work out more and drink more water. In my opinion, water works. It helps your immune system, it helps your body, your, your hair, skin, and nails. It's just, it's the universal fluid, so yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, what's How does this change society? Well, like I said, if 
we eat less junk food and the demand for junk food decreases, then it would also reduce energy consumption, which in return makes society more green. Less fossil fuels burning, you know. Any more questions? What's your question? It wouldn't really necessarily put people out of business because if you think about it, why fuel is being more, it would give people more jobs. People would make money from farming again because people would be opting for organic products. And organic products are, you know, locally grown, so you can get, it's cheaper in the sense that there's no like, there's no fuel being burned to deliver it to the grocery stores, it's locally grown. Also, nowadays a lot of food factories, they use, um, they use machinery to package their foods. They don't use people anymore. So it might actually bring people back into the factories and help. It, that would also cut down energy consumption because you're using manual labor. What's your question? Can you take less calorie things? Actually, that's very bad for you because drinking diet soda that's empty calories they actually use more um, sugars with, and sweeteners with empty calories to cut down on that. So it is better to use natural sugars than it is to eat those things that say they're low calorie or you know diet sodas, those are bad for you. In other words, it's better to drink a regular Coke, the classic Coke, than a diet Coke. Is that all? Yes. Thank you guys for coming today. I really appreciate it and I hope that you really learned something from this presentation. Thank you. Would you like to talk?